Now, how, how easy you think it's going to um, happen for you? Find well, those women. If it was easy, everybody could do it. I like a good challenge. I like to hunt. Hmm. I mean, money makes it easier. Well, it's a byproduct, which it definitely does make it easier. Mm -hmm. But what's your bread and butter? Say again? What's, what, 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 besides money, your charm. Well, I like to be a straight shooter. <laughs> you're either with it from the, I'm going to tell you, mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you. Mm -hmm. And if you share the vision, all right. Yeah. If you don't, it's cool. Give me an egg. Give you a what? <laughs> an egg? A baby? No, just give me an egg. Let me go take that egg and put it in somebody else. Oh, okay. If I identify the traits <laughs> that I need in you, give me an egg then. <laughs> yeah. <What? laughs> nah, you hilarious, bro. Describe myself in two words, rich and unemployed. These stones cost two birds. Let it count it when she bored. Deposit hit chicks, clearing A. Nothing void. I know that ain't my ex calling. Null and void. Where we going? Money going up. All right, welcome to the Rich and Unemployed Podcast. I'm your host, Jonathan Dupatan, aka Finesse. And uh, before we get started, make sure you guys check out the Patreon. Check out the website, www.richandunemployed.net. And uh, before we get started, no, no, I said that. Introduce yourself. <laughs> What's good, everyone? So for those of you who don't know me, my oh, name is shit. Doreen Delavante. <laughs> I'm your favorite consumer law expert. I teach people how to repair, rebuild, restore their own credit. And I also teach people how to use consumer laws to start their own business to generate an extra hundred to 200,000 per year. Is that right? <clears throat> I love yes, the sir. intro. Okay. Um, first, are you rich and unemployed? I am. For how long? How long have you been rich and unemployed? Uh, two and a half years. Hmm. Okay, let's get into it. So you say consumer law. Um, you help people start. You can start a business around consumer law. Absolutely. And make an extra hundred to two hundred thousand. That's extra. Extra. That's extra. If they're not doing anything. So let's say they're employed. Using consumer laws, you can make an extra six figures or multiple six figures, depending on the work that you put in. Okay, let's let's break down what consumer law is because uh, a lot of people don't know. I really don't know what consumer law is. I just know it deals with credit. People use it to get stuff off their credit. Correct. Okay, let's break down what so, it is. Consumer law covers goods, finances, trade, basically commerce, anything that we do. We buy, mm -hmm. we sell. Now, consumer law itself protects consumers from banks, auto dealerships, subprime lenders, all the things that would put a consumer at a disadvantage. There's laws put in place by Congress to protect them. The only thing about it is <clears throat> it's the best kept secret because nobody knows consumer laws. Well, how you know it? Well, I got introduced to it through a mentorship. I heard this dude speak once and I got intrigued. See, I have a thing for not liking to learn anything that everybody else does mm, me too so so when i heard that and during my i was already studying credit mm -hmm. i was like this is going to be the thing ain't nobody in these streets talking about it so i'm going to become the best at it and that's what happened mm -hmm. okay you were dealing with credit repairing credit mm -hmm. right and you learned the consumer laws right you learned all of them is it just one well, there's, there's a lot of consumer mm -hmm. So learning all of them, to me, it wouldn't make any sense. So I focused on one area. Well, a few laws to be specific. FCRA, which is the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the FDCPA, Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, Truth in Lending, Equal Credit Opportunity Act, and a few other laws that are specific to getting items deleted off your credit. But it didn't always start like this. Mm -hmm. Like, I had bad credit, like... Mm -hmm. I was being told no, 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 and oh, like which part you don't get the N or the O, <laughs> like dude, I mm -hmm. was getting turned down every single place I went, mm -hmm. and it's not until I had a shift in my mind then I really unlocked the next level of becoming <laughs> rich and unemployed. Mm -hmm. But at the time, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just following a path because I kind of got thrown into it, mm -hmm. where. I'm in the military, so active duty. Right now. Correct, I'm reserved now. Mm -hmm. So active duty, making six grand a month. I thought that was lit, right? So I thought that was lit. 
and making six grand a month. All right, cool. I can do whatever I want. It's not bad. And I got indoctrinated into the 40, 40, 40. 40 hours a week, 40 years, 40%, white picket fence, half a kid, all of that great stuff, right? You said half a kid? You know, the, a dog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <all> right. <laughs> right? And all of it. But then all of that changed when I got told by my first sergeant is that they, the government overspent on the COVID budget and they were going to cut my orders. Mind you, I've been active duty for six years. Mm -hmm. That's all I've dedicated everything to do. Mm -hmm. And now all of that income was gone. So before I got to that spot, see, God of a way, like, ain't nobody can tell me that there's not a supreme being or a God. Because mm -hmm. things will happen in your life and you don't know why these things happen because you can't see around corners. Mm -hmm. So backtrack 2019, right before my deployment in 2020, I got introduced to a book called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Mm -hmm. It's the first book I ever read from front to back. Mm. So when I heard the book, first I was in the barbershop because I just got fired first time because I was getting a city job. Then put in my two weeks notice, five days before starting the job, the city told me the spot was no longer available. Mind you, I was already training my replacement. Mm -hmm. So 2019 now, I got out of a job because the city said they're not giving the job anymore. And I trained my replacement, so I had no space left. So I was in a very dark and angry place. Mm -hmm. Then one Sunday, I was at the barbershop. The dude was like, yo, I just bought this book called Rich Dad Poor Dad. And it's crazy how the people that will bring you your message <clears throat> isn't the people that you think is going to bring it. One word, well, two, rich dad, poor dad. That's all he said in the barbershop. And it was a book. And I was like, what kind of dumbass book is that? Talking about rich dad. I was in a dark place. I was mm -hmm. angry. And I am a curious person. So went on YouTube, shout out to YouTube, rich dad, poor dad, audiobook, mm -hmm. right? Dude, I listened to it six times. What you gain from it? A whole mindset shift. Mm -hmm. Everything that I thought was correct, go to school and get a job. I now learned that that was social programming and you're in a world of hurt if you believe that somebody's coming to save you because mm -hmm. I just experienced it myself. Mm -hmm. And then Think and Grow Rich just took it over the top. Mm -hmm. Those were the first two books. So then I deployed in 2020. I read 140 books on my deployment. I was averaging eight to 10 books a month. I was just consuming mm -hmm. information, but that was necessary for me to become the person that I am now. I needed to unprogram everything that I've learned, every single thing, mm -hmm. to become a new person and be renewed through a new mind. The, the battleground is in your mind because as a man think it in his heart, mm -hmm. so is he. So if you believe something is possible for you, it is possible. If you believe it's not, it's not. Mm -hmm. Either way, you're both correct. Do you have that same mindset before the books? Or the books gave you this, this? The books gave me the mindset now, but I always had a belief in myself. I'm mm -hmm. not from here. I was born in Jamaica. At 19 years old, I left Jamaica to a foreign country with no family. I've always better than me. Mm -hmm. That I had forever. The mindset just took it to a whole nother level. Hmm. What books were you reading? What, what, what type of books were you aiming for? Was it like a specific type of book? Or was it just business or was it just a bunch of different type of books? So we're talking credit, anything credit, finance, real estate, business, and taxes. Mm -hmm. Those were my five, cat no, and six, self-development. Mm -hmm. Six categories. I would consume everything that was living that concerned those because uh -huh. I knew what I wanted. So at that time, Robert Kiyosaki, Ken McElroy, <clears throat> Grant Cordon, those were my biggest role models. Mm -hmm. Credit real estate and business because rule number one of rich dad poor dad the rich don't work for money they have money work for them mm -hmm. so comprehending that number one fundamental changed everything because you see poor person or poor people pay for everything with their life rich people pay for stuff with their creativity big difference mm -hmm. so a person that works a hundred thousand a year Okay, 35% is going to the government for taxes. So already you're working half a year just to pay the government, right? 
Then from that half a year, half more is going to go to a car. So let's say you're going to buy a car for 50,000, right? Mm -hmm. Well, damn, you got 65,000 left. Mm -hmm. So you're looking at it at half of that year, you're going to pay for this car with. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so hard for people to buy stuff because when they got preached that time is money, time is money, it's not money. That is the biggest lie from hell. Time cannot be equal to money because time is infinitely more valuable. You can lose all the money you have right now mm -hmm. and you can make that back within 24, 48 hours, depending on your capability. But I guarantee you lose a week and tell me if you get it back. <laughs> so unlearning mm -hmm. those things and mm -hmm. relearning the real value, which mm -hmm. is time, that is why a rich person or business owners will employ so many people so they can buy their time back mm -hmm. to go spend with their family and do things that regular people think are not important. Mm -hmm. But once your time is up, it is gone. Let's get back to consumer law because I want people to really understand <laughs> what consumer law is before we like really get into conversation. But <clears throat> how do you use consumer law you can only use it to get stuff off of credit. No, you can use it for many things. I just specialize in using it for credit. What else could you use it for? Um, let's see. <laughs> Probably shouldn't put this on the air, but whatever. So I have a Mercedes Benz AMG GLE, right? Mm -hmm. Never paid for it. I use consumer law and I got the Mercedes basically for free. Now I'm not going to go into the details of it on this that's podcast. That's, but that's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> there's, yeah. thing, there's, there's, there's things you can do. Um, the, the other thing to it is, so how I knew consumer law was the thing. So I built out an 800 credit score three times in one year. My first time was on my deployment. Six months into my deployment, I built my first 800. Then I did it two times after that. Using consumer law? Correct. Because I learned that factors of FICO and factors of the consumer report are separate things. A lot of people think that your FICO is your credit. Mm -hmm. It's not. And I can prove it. Prove it. All right. I'm, I want to put up $1,000. Who, who get the 1000 If I lose, you get it. If I can't prove... So, all right, let me prove some things. I'm going to prove that... I made this money on. A late payment don't exist, right? Late payments. I'm going to prove that it doesn't exist, right? The next thing is, I'm going to also prove that a FICO score does not exist on your consumer report. And then the next thing, I'm going to prove that credit bureaus do not exist. If I can't prove those, I'm going to give you $1,000. You can prove it right now? Yeah. All right, take your phone out. Fuck. I'm going to screen record this so I can uh, put this on camera. <laughs> All right. Go into Google and type in 15 USC 1681A. Wait, hold on, brother. Okay. 15 USC US. C. 1681A. 1681A. A. So that brings you to the Fair Credit Reporting Act under definitions, rules of construct, right? Mm -hmm. All right, scroll down to number two. Number two. Oh, you have to click into Cornell Law. Yeah. Okay. Scroll down to number two. You're going to see exclusions. I think you might have passed it. Back and at the top. It's only A and B. Exclusions. Let me see In what you general. got. Yep. Oh, exclusion number two. All right. Cool. So the word itself, exclusions. What do you think exclusion means? Um, not a part of, um, excluded. Excluded, right? Mm -hmm. So that's an accurate statement. So mm -hmm. the section itself is called exclusions. So it would be fair to agree that everything in this section is excluded from something mm -hmm. based on definition, right? Yes. Okay, go ahead and read number two. Number two, read it. Yeah, number two. Except as provided in paragraph three, the term consumer report does not include. The term consumer report does not include. Mm -hmm. So everything they're about to tell you is not included on your consumer report. Is that a fair assessment? Yes. All right, bet. What else you need to read? All right, continue reading. The whole thing? Yeah. Hold on, bro. I ain't past uh, English. Report containing information slow, solely as to transactions or experiences between the consumer and the person making the report. All right. So to the regular person, that absolutely means nothing. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you that there is more to this than what you just read. So I want you to click on the word consumer report. Just touch it. It's going to give you a definition of what your consumer report means. It means individual. 
That's that, a consumer. That's me. Consumer report. The word consumer report itself. It has oh. a definition. Uh, okay, up here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will not regret it. You okay. will not regret it. All right. The term consumer report means any written, oral, or other communication of any information by a consumer reporting by a reporting by a consumer reporting agency bearing All on right. consumer reporting agency. Did they say credit bureau? No. So that's the first one. Keep going. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay. By a consumer's reporting agency bearing on a consumer's credit worthiness, credit standing, credit capacity, cap um, character, general mm -hmm. reputation, personal characteristics, or mode of living, which is used or expected to be used or collected in whole or in part of the purpose of serving as a factor in establishing the consumer's eligibility for a credit or insurance to be used primarily used for personal, family, or household purposes, B, employment purposes, or C, any other purpose authorized under section 1681B. All right. Now, the thing that people call credit report, that's the <clears throat> definition by law of what it is. It's called mm -hmm. your consumer report. Did you see any part in there, FICO mentioned anywhere in there? No. FICO was not mentioned. Mm -mm. Vantage scores were not mentioned. So if you go back to it now and you read, except as provided in paragraph two, the term consumer report does not include None reports mm -hmm. containing what? Um, A1, right here. A1. Mm -hmm. Oh, this. Reports containing information solely as to transactions. Or transactions. Well, what is your transaction? Isn't that your payment history? Yeah. If your transactions are your payments mm -hmm. and your transactions are not included, where does a late payment come from if the transaction itself is not a part of the consumer report? I don't know. But this is a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. <laughs> and the crazy thing about it is when you don't know the things that you don't know, mm -hmm. the people that know the things that you don't know will always use the things you don't know mm -hmm. against you because you don't know it. So now, did you have to like study all of these? Did you have to go through all of this? Well, I like reading that stuff. For me, it's fun. Man. But remember in the beginning, I told you, I like knowing and learning mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. other people don't. Mm -hmm. So for me, for, that's a rush for me. Could you teach people this? Without that's having, what I do. Oh, without having to read this shit? Correct. Okay, cool. All right. <laughs> um, but see, when you learn something by yourself, you will never forget it. You know now for mm -hmm. a fact, a late payment doesn't exist because you discovered it yourself. Mm -hmm. See, late payments exist because we let then put it on the consumer report. Transactions are not included. And when you check the FICO algorithm and the pie chart, payment history and utilization make up the two biggest factors, 35% and 30%. Together, that's what? 65%, which equals to 357.5 points. Each percentage equates to a certain amount of points. Mm -hmm. All right, so FICO says payment history, Utilization, mm -hmm. length of credit history, um, mixture of credit and new credit. Five factors, right? Mm -hmm. um, 35, 30, 15, 10, 10. Mm -hmm. Those are percentages. The credit score ranges from what? 300 to 850. Mm -hmm. That gives you 550 points. Mm -hmm. The 550 points is broken down into those five categories. So at 35%, that's 192.5 points. At 30%, it's 165 points. At, um, where were we? This is crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. At 15%, <laughs> it's 82.5 points. At 10%, it's 55. At 10%, it's 55. That gives you 550 points. 57, five, yeah, 550 points. Mm -hmm. So now, when you take the two biggest categories, late payment or payment history and utilization, remember the law that you just read spoke about experiences. Mm -hmm. Experiences, the use of a line of credit that you are using at any given point in time. So if you got a hundred thousand, no, no, let's use a thousand dollars. If you have a thousand dollar line of credit, right? And you are using $500, that's the experience with you 
the consumer and the person making the report. Well, the word person means corporation as well. Mm -hmm. So when you know what your true definitions are, you know exactly who they are and you know how to address them. Mm -hmm. The reason why a lot of people don't, like they don't get deletions is because they're addressing the wrong person. They're writing letters to credit bureaus. They're writing goodwill letters begging for people to mm -hmm. reverse late payments. But it's not going to work. You are not speaking their language. It's like I'm speaking Mandarin and you're speaking Chinese. You will, we will never comprehend each other. Mm -hmm. Consumer law is language made, put in place by Congress to regulate these corporations. Why not speak the same language? Mm -hmm. So learning this, I get anything deleted from any report. So is it 100% guaranteed? You cannot say that because it's against the law. CROA, Credit Repair Organization mm -hmm. Act, you cannot make promises. What I can tell you is that last week I had a five-day challenge, and on that challenge, I got two bankruptcies deleted in like five days. That's something I can tell you because that's something that did happen. Mm -hmm. hmm. We got a whole credit report being wiped in a matter of days of being on a five-day challenge with me. How much you charge this? So the university itself is only $5,000, right? What do the university include? Well, it includes... You teach them the game. Yeah, I'm, I'm giving them all the game on consumer law. And I'm also teaching them how to start their own credit, credit repair business and how to use that to supplement their income. Do you use consumer law? So there's different forms of dispute. There's factual, metro two, and consumer law, and arbitration, <clears throat> right? Metro 2, something that I just started using, right? Mm -hmm. Now, what's the difference between Metro 2 and... Metro 2 has to do with compliance. Mm -hmm. And in the compliance, you don't really know what the Metro 2 is sending out. Mm -hmm. So that's why I never gravitated to Metro 2. I need to be able to know, learn, speak my content. The way I'm breaking consumer law down to you, I'm yet to meet someone that can break down Metro 2 the way I break down consumer law. Mm -hmm. I haven't met the person yet. Mm hmm. hmm. Okay. No, I'm really interested about this. No. Oh, it's game. <laughs> All right. Let me give you a simple example. Mm -hmm. And Metro 2 cannot do this. <clears throat> Throwing shots at Metro 2 right now. <laughs> In Florida, there was a woman that got $20.5 million in a lawsuit against Experian for Experian furnishing inaccurate credit scores and inaccurate residential information. Mm -hmm. So she was going in for a mortgage. She got pre-approved. And when she went back to pull the report, she got denied. That is called actual damages. Metro 2 cannot do that. Homegirl got $20.5 million. Consumer law. Consumer law. Mm. I mean, oh God, it's, it's, it's so many questions. Um, <laughs> I can answer any question you got. Um, I mean, I want to add it to like what I got going on, but I don't. What, is it just like okay, you know when you um, when you're fixing credit, all mm -hmm. you need is the letter, the, the letter that you send off. Mm -hmm. Like with consumer law, is it just a letter that? You it's letter, but it's consumer law based. Mm -hmm. The reason why a lot of people are not getting results is they're using templates that's just floating around, yes. 609. And mm -hmm. when you tell them that, right, even though Section 609 is a part of the Fair Credit Reporting Act, it is not context correctly because mm -hmm. they're using their own words. Well, why do you want to use your own words when the law is already there? Why not use the words that is currently in the law? So you're saying we can't use templates. You, are you typing? No, you can use templates. Uh -huh. There's nothing wrong with templates. I've, I made hundreds of thousands of dollars selling templates. Last year, I made over 500,000 selling templates alone. But my templates aren't like regular templates. They are consumer law specific for specific things. Right. How much do you sell these templates for? Depends. They're not the same prices. What's the, what's the ranges? Ranges from maybe $50 to $120. Oh, okay. <laughs> Very affordable. Very. Extremely affordable. Mm -hmm. But I like seeing people getting results because when they get results, they're in my inbox and they're like, yo, I just got this letter. I deleted a whole bankruptcy. My dude. Mm. All right. Y'all be thinking I'm playing around. I swear <laughs> to God. You be thinking I'm over here making some shit up. Nah, you're talking like you know what you're talking about, man. All right. <clears throat>
So okay, this cool. is my Facebook group for my mentorship. Just scroll and tell me. Just scroll. Mm. 180 people. Uh, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Someone just posted today they got a bankruptcy deleted. Just came off the five day challenge. Man, you got a lot of stuff going on. There's here. a lot. Consumer laws, the goat. There's a lot of stuff going on. But what if what if people ain't got five thousand dollars to be spending? What? Well, see, we may, sorry. Good point. Mm -hmm. People will go to school, get a student loan for hundreds of thousands of dollars, to leave school to work thirty five and forty thousand. Mm -hmm. Right. They'll never pay those student loans off. But you're telling me an investment in your own self for $5,000 that can repair, rebuild, restore your own credit. And with a brand new LLC, you can get up to $100,000 in funding with one inquiry. That don't even make no sense. Don't so, make sense. All right. All right. Let me give you an example. Using, that, using consumer law. So consumer law is foundation, but there's more stuff. Let me give you an example. So... Each consumer reporting agencies, not all banks pull from the same consumer reporting agencies, right? Mm -hmm. So you repair, rebuild, restore your credit. You got all the negatives off. You got some trade lines. You got some primaries. You build out the profile. Now you're at a 720, 740, or 750. Now you're fundable. No derogatories, 100% payment history, a good five to 10 um, trade lines on there. Your utilization is below 10%, I bet. So now you're using yourself right, as a personal guarantor to go fund your business. So now you know that Navy Federal pulls from TransUnion. We know Amex pulls from, Amex pulls from Experian. And then KeyBank, I think they go from Experian, right? Mm -hmm. Each one is a separate inquiry by itself. Mm -hmm. So we know that from Navy Federal, you can get $25,000 relatively easy. They are very generous, right? Amex, are roughly the same, your spending power. So Amex will give you 25 grand out the gate with no problem. That's 50 already. All it took was one inquiry from one, one inquiry from the other. But in KeyBank, you probably can get up to 50,000 from KeyBank. So now we're talking about TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian, one inquiry each with $100,000 on a new LLC. And you're telling me with that type of spending power and that type of knowledge, 5,000 is a lot for you to invest in your own self and your business. You're not ready for this game. Mm -hmm. You're not. Mm -hmm. A person who is unwilling to invest in themselves is not ready to handle success when it comes. Because if you are scared <clears throat> to pay people, in your mind, people are scared to pay you. We mm -hmm. make money when we provide a service and we solve people's problems. Think about it. The people that solve the most problems make the most money. Grand Cordon, he solves one problem, housing. Mm -hmm. 1,800, over 10,000 apartment. Think he's making 18 million a month. Hmm. Solve people's problem. How much you had to invest? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. First, <laughs> first investment was two grand. The oh. second was six. The third was 15, then 40,000, and then 155,000. You invested 150,000 in what? Myron Golden. Man, you know what? I thought you was going to say that. He's my mentor. Was it um, <clears throat> one on one? Mm, Myron, don't do one on one. If you're going to do a VIP day, that's $300,000. So you're 155,000. Nope. Mm hmm. You forgot the others. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm just saying. Oh, you're just talking yeah, Myron. Just, just the Myron. Okay, yeah. Did it benefit you? Yeah. So I took a five day challenge with Myron. Mm -hmm. Coming off of that five day challenge, I made 97,000. Coming off of it? Correct. So I did the challenge in Making September. More offers? Correct. I was in there. I was on number six. You was on number six. I was. September of 2021. I remember you from there. Mm -hmm. You were on that challenge. That's funny. Okay. The October, I made 97,000. Making offers. Remember, we were on there September. Mm -hmm. October, I made 97,000. I used half of that money to join Nehemiah's in, in a circle. And then I learned about digital products and I learned how to scale digital products. I did $1.5 million last year. 
just off of Neo? No, not just that. It's a combination. Uh -huh. So each mentor has something specific that I need to learn. Mm -hmm. I don't just join to join. Mm -hmm. So when I joined Recession Proof, I needed a product. Mm -hmm. The product was credit. Mm -hmm. Okay, got a product. Mm -hmm. Then I joined Van Taylor. I needed to learn about what an avatar is and branding. Got that. Then now I learned from Nehemiah how to use digital products and scale digital products. Did that. Did one ebook, I made like $250,000 off of it. All right, cool. Did a couple hundred thousand dollar months, did a hundred thousand dollar day. All right, cool. That is cute. I'm grateful, but not satisfied. Now, how can I do a million dollar day? Mm -hmm. That's why I joined Myron Golden. Wow. Each mentor has a purpose. Mm -hmm. 150,000, you wasn't scared? You wasn't nervous? Like no. I lost that after I invested in Nehemiah. So, <laughs> All right. So the first time I invested two grand, right? I got recession proof on a, on a deal. It was like a Valentine's deal Marcus mm -hmm. was doing. Dude, I had to throw the phone across the room and I went to sleep. At that time, that was the most money I've ever spent. Right? Mm -hmm. But then, all right, dropped six grand with Van Teller. I was nervous as hell because everybody on my team is telling me that was the last $6,000 I had. Because I was like, dude, we worked the business for a whole year and I didn't get paid. I used all my savings to pay my team because I knew it was much more than that. And I knew what my goal was and how we're going to accomplish it. So I don't mind taking a pay cut because I saw a bigger picture. But then when we gained traction, it was over. Everybody got paid and bonuses. What's the most important thing you learned from Myron Golden? Out of the 155 that you spent, what was the most important thing that you got from him? You control your own income. Mm -hmm. I've seen people make a million dollars in a day. I've seen people do five million in a day. I've talked to people in that mentorship that did a nine million dollar day. The conversations with those people are different. Mm -hmm. I'm not leaving that mentorship no time soon. <laughs> I'm locked in. I'm not going nowhere. Is it is it 155 a year? Correct. Wow. No, that's an investment. Mm -hmm. See, people that's watching this episode right now might be thinking, "Oh my God, it's an expense." It's not an expense. It's an investment. investment. If 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 I give you if I give you a dollar and you give me a dollar back, would that make sense? Yeah. It's a dollar for a dollar. Right. Come on. All right. I give, you give me a dollar mm -hmm. and then I give you $10 back. Which deal is better? The dollar for dollar or the one for 10? One for 10. All right. So now you give me 10, I give you a hundred back. Mm -hmm. Would you take that deal? Every day. You give me a hundred, I give you a thousand back. <clears throat> so basically you, you gave him 155. Correct. And my 1.5 million is coming up. It's loading because mm -hmm. I've seen it. I know what it takes. I've done the math. Mm -hmm. Now I just need to execute. Mm -hmm. See, 40 people at a $25,000 product is a million dollars. I know the math. Mm -hmm. So now I just need to execute. It's motivation. It's motivation. When you were living in Kingston, um, I'm pretty sure you were poor. No. N it wasn't Kingston. It was uh, bad, Manchester. Jamaica. No, no, it's cool. Mm -hmm. um, it was Manchester. I was. Mm -hmm. Wearing around barefoot, holes in my shorts, no t-shirt on. You know what a slingshot is? Dude, I was bird hunting. Mm -hmm. Barefoot. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people will never, ever experience this type of lifestyle. But being able to compare where you came from and the achievement now. Like, you'll hear people say, oh, you don't remember where you came from. You're damn right I remember. That's why I'm not going back. Mm. It's not forgetting where you come from, but I'm not going back to that type of lifestyle. Why would I? If that. I have a choice to control my income, control what I do, I can get up right now and go wherever in the world and work. I don't need to put in no two weeks notice. I don't need a boss telling me nothing. I am rich and unemployed, right? Mm -hmm. Shout out to you, right? And love that. that level of freedom 
it's all it's it's different my mom can call me now and ask for anything and i'm able to do it before i couldn't do it mm-hmm. dude when i lived in new york when i just moved to new york i was working at five guys i was making eight dollars and 25 cents an hour bro and that's disrespectful Bro, I was the best fry shake in that month. I was, <laughs> don't, don't play with me in that fry basket, mm-hmm. all right? I still got some skills. But it's crazy that I started out at Dairy Queen, right? In New Hampshire. $7.25. New York, five guys. Um, $8.25. To know an hour with me is between five and $10,000. <laughs> You be dead serious, man. I am serious. I know you are. <laughs> I can see it in your eyes. See, a lot of time we underestimate our worth. Mm-hmm. And because a lot of people are so used to a race to the bottom, they're going to price themselves with competition. I'm in no competition with my nobody, bro. Mm-hmm. Ain't nobody got what I got because my stuff is my stuff. Your stuff is your stuff. There is no competition. Mm-hmm. See, the best is not the cheapest, and the cheapest is not the best. Come on. So true. Some people are uh, afraid to, to spend money on, I, I mean, I'm afraid to spend that type of money because, I mean, I know I spent 20000 on a mentorship before, but I didn't gain nothing from it until the end of it. And what, what I gained from it was a friend. You know, somebody in my network, somebody mm-hmm. I can call that calls me and be like, oh, yo, I got to play for you. you know, now, so, let so, me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. That person, have you made that 25 back? I sure did. Not See, at first, though. people go into mentorships mm-hmm. looking for the wrong thing. Mm-hmm. See, with Myron and the people, mm-hmm. just the people. Being in that environment. Oh, my. Dude, my mind. So I was saying I wanted to do $100,000 a day. You know what? Neil looked at me and said, Yo, you're not thinking big enough, bro. Right. I thought 100000 was a lot of money. Dude, I was making $6,000 a month. Of course I thought $100,000 was a lot of money. Then I made it. Then I realized it's not. Because mm. then I got staff. I got <clears throat> independent contractors. Still got to pay me. And then we're talking about Uncle Sam showing up for something that he did no work for. Ain't that some shit? Let me ask you this. Uh, all the money that you're accumulating, all the money that you, you plan on making, at what point does it become greed? There is no such thing as greed. My goal is to serve. Mm-hmm. Whatever comes with serving is a byproduct of it. You plant a tree, you expect the tree to grow. Mm-hmm. At what point do we tell the tree to stop growing? You don't. The tree grows until it dies. Mm-hmm. If it dies. So I'm creating a legacy that can be passed on the same way the Rockefeller structured their stuff in the 1900s. Mm-hmm. Got the Federal Reserve Bank, which is not really a bank, in the United States of America. And here we are right now where their family is 100 years plus later, still one of the richest families in the world. Mm-hmm. Look at the Rothschilds. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's legacy. How old are you? I'm only 33. Same age. Legacy. When you speak about legacy, doesn't that like require like children? Correct. You have children? One. I have a son. I want five more though. Five more. Correct. I'm not leaving all of this to one kid. Mm-hmm. What happens if he decides to fuck up? And the legacy we need backups. <laughs> come, come on, bro. We need backups. We can't just have one kid mm. passing legacy mm. on to. That's mm. when people are talking about trust fund babies and they act spoiled. They never, re- they never work for anything. Mm-hmm. But you see, what's so cool is that the Rockefellers, they left a blueprint on how to structure your family wealth and leave specific instructions. Like, for example, a page out of the Rockefellers book. Their trust controls everything, right? So when a new heir is born, when a new Rockefeller is born, or anyone in the family, a life insurance policy gets taken out. The trust takes out a life insurance policy on the child. When you go to access the trust, you need a business plan. If you're going to school, there needs to be some plan of how you plan on paying that money back. And if you don't pay it back, you are cut off from the wealth. But guess what? They already have a policy on you. So when you die, that policy pays it back. The family wealth keeps building. Mm. That's what they'll, they will never run out of money ever, Mm. Mm. ever. 
I'm gonna do an echo again. Ever. <laughs> <laughs> they will not. And that type of dude, mm. you're talking about like one, like almost three generations. Mm. They've passed down wealth. I want that. Mm-hmm. So when I'm long gone, guess what? That's gonna keep going. Just like the Rich Dad Company with Robert. Rich Dad doesn't <coughs> stop at Robert Kiyosaki. It keeps going forever. Financial literacy is the new income. Information is the new currency. You plan on having four more kids with five kids? You got one, four more? Yeah, one, five or six. Okay. With one person? No. So that's the other thing. I need specific genes for specific purposes. Keep going. I want to hear this. <laughs> All right. So genetics is key, right? Different genome has different latent ability inside of them. Right. So I want a diverse gene pool. I want an Arab, Nigerian, I have a West Indian already. I need an Egyptian. And the other one, Spanish. Mm-hmm. I might throw an Asian in there, the sixth kid. Yeah. Each culture has something different. Mm-hmm. And when we talk about now a collective of culture, the family dynamics are so diverse now. We're talking lawyers, doctors, pharmacy. We're, we're talking each child is going to be in a different industry mm-hmm. that they're taking over. Mm. Now, all of that comes back to the family <clears throat> wealth. I like that. I like that. Success must be intentional. And the reason why a lot of us fail to pass on wealth is because we haven't structured or got our minds right. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how do you structure this? If you're going to have families in different countries or... No, never said I'm going to have them in different <clears throat> countries. <Okay. clears throat> Where are you going to have them at? What you mean? Are you going to go find a girl and bring her yeah. here? Yeah. <laughs> or meet them here. Uh-huh. Or go to their country. Mm-hmm. So you're going to go save women? No, I'm not in the business of saving people. I don't like giving people fish. See, when they give a man a fish, he eats for the day. When you teach a person how to fish, they eat for the rest of their life. Each mate must have the capacity and the mental fortitude to run a business. Each one gets a business. So if they are not business oriented, I am not interested. So no housewife? Nope, don't want none. I got a big ass house in Jamaica. I'll send the kids there. They got grandmas there. Mm. They'll be all right. But if the mother is not going to be an alpha female, I am not interested. Alpha females only. I am not interested in beta females. Mm. What's a, what's a beta female like a housewife? Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I don't I don't need nobody to stroke my ego. I already stroke my own ego. Mm. I need somebody like me. I need somebody that I can go hunt with. I don't want to be like, baby, you will be over there. I'm gonna be over here. We're gonna strategically take down this couple right here. Lock this deal in. All right, let's go. That's what I want. I want. A female equal to me. That other beta stuff, I, I can't deal with that shit. No. You're the first person I ever heard say that. The truth is the truth. Mm-hmm. I am very truthful. Well, you want what you want. So now, is it a particular business or it could be any business? Well, I plan on owning probably over a good 150 companies. So oh. each one will have a business specific to maybe th- what they're passionate about. If it's healthcare, if it's law, is it, I don't even want to buy a law firm. Mm. There's a lot of things I need to do. I can't do it by myself. Well, niggas get confident when they, when they get that money, man. Well, I'm going to open up a law firm. I don't need to be a lawyer. I'll <laughs> buy the law firm and get some lawyers to run it. Mm-hmm. Then you can do some law all day. There you go. Now you're following. <laughs> I knew, see, I knew. There you're following. Uh, okay, okay, okay. No, that's very interesting, bro. Um, I mean, I had the same idea, but I never thought of having women uh, being all alpha women. I always felt like, okay, if I'm the breadwinner, then I can go make the money and they can take care of the household. But, if, but you're <laughs> actually better right than one billionaire. 
Two. Come on, bro. <laughs> Shit, five. You know Come on, bro. <laughs> five. Mm-hmm. So, like, people that don't comprehend life get jealous of things. Mm-hmm. Right? So, all right. Muslims, five, 12 wives, right? Imagine if with that kind of commitment, each person was the head of a business in that one family. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine their wealth? Ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Why should we limit our own capabilities when together we can achieve so much more? Now, how, how easy you think it's going to um, happen for you? Find well, those women. If it was easy, everybody could do it. I like a good challenge. I like to hunt. Hmm. I mean, money makes it easier. Well, it's a byproduct, which it definitely does make it easier. Mm-hmm. But what's your bread and butter? Say again? What's, what, what, besides money, your charm. Well, I like to be a straight shooter. <laughs> You're either with it from the, I'm going to tell you, the, mm-hmm. I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. And if you share the vision, all right. Yeah. If you don't, it's cool. Give me an egg. Give you a what? <laughs> an egg? A baby? Yeah. No, just give me an egg. Let me go take that egg and put it in somebody else. Oh, okay. If I identify the traits <laughs> that I need in you, give me an egg then. <laughs> you know, <what? laughs> nah, you hilarious, bro. Um, tell me about the house that you have in Jamaica. Did you just build it? No, um, um, my mom started it and I'm going to finish it. Uh-huh. Um, one of my biggest things is I, I want mom to be financially free mm. now <clears throat> i could just say hey mom stop working but i'm not that dude i'm I gave mom a business because if i give you everything you're what depending on me mm-hmm. but when i teach you how to fish and run your own business you print your own money mm-hmm. i like people printing their own money i like everybody making money you don't want to retire your mom no never why would you want to retire anybody and what is she going to do Pick palm trees. No. Mom is going to become a successful business owner that can do and achieve anything she wants. Hmm. She's managing the business. That's all she got to do. Check in with people. Make sure that the money is being collected. Mm-hmm. Each business has a manager. Mm-hmm. She'll be all right. <laughs> she, 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 she's going to be good. Yo, your face expresses, bro. <laughs> And he be dead serious, but I know you're serious because I, I am. you're from the islands, bro. <laughs> All right. My mom says, son, um, we need to fix the wall. I said, who's paying for it? She's like, uh, my I rich son. I mean, I would assume. No, I said, okay. What we need to do, mother, is we need to create something that's going to pay for it because I'm not paying for it. I will give the startup for the thing mm-hmm. so the thing pays for the wall. Then I get my money back. How long that's going to take? Well, it may take a month or two or maybe three. Uh-huh. But it still don't matter. That thing now pays her for the rest of her life mm-hmm. versus me giving her something one time. And then next month or the other month, she's going to ask me again. Okay. Now I got so to, el- to eliminate all of that problem, <clears throat> why not just create a source that's going to be forever printing it? I got to ask you this. Now, I got a piece of your mindset. Uh, now, what do, you, what do you do with girlfriends? Like when girlfriends ask you for money, are you? No. I'm not buying you no purse. Let's, let's go figure out how we're going to make this money. I'm not. We're going to create a product. I kid you not. We're creating a product. So... Say I'm going to take on a girlfriend, right? Mm-hmm. I'm going to create something just for that expense. I'm not paying for it out of my pocket. But you got all this money, man. That has nothing to do with it. I can pay for something out of my creativity. So she, I don't, first of all, I don't like women asking me for nothing. If I am not observant to know that she needs something and get it before she asks, I'm not doing my job as a man. That's Mm -hmm. number one. So I got to know my person, right? And secondly, okay, my girl helps me make a lot of money. So when she needs something, I'm not the one paying for it. She makes me a lot of money. She's basically paying for her her own stuff. Mm -hmm. So now 
If I need something to cater for her, what I'll do is I'm going to teach her how to do something that I know for a fact can print money for at least a good couple of years. Mm -hmm. So whether it's a business, a new Airbnb, or that's a gift. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me about no bags or no shoes. You'll never get it. Tell me you want a property or an Airbnb or a rental car, something that can buy you many more bags. Because if you're only thinking about one, you're not thinking big enough. And we are definitely not going to last. We're not. Mm. Let's think about longevity. Mm. How about you create something for me that can pay me and buy all my liabilities? <clears throat> I'm with that. I'm with it. Mm -hmm. This is good. So um, you ain't been in Atlanta too long. Nope. Six months. Six months. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, you're going to soon find out. It's, it's all right. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm about this life. Mm -hmm. I am about this life. So you haven't ran across women here in Atlanta? Oh, I have a lot. Not mm -hmm. interested in some of them. What, what, what vibe do you get from these women? I don't like women that are like ambulances. They just want, want, want things all the time. Have you met someone that asked you for rent money the first day? First couple of days? No, this one chick asked me for Uber everywhere. I'm like, how about you go? I'll pay for you to go get it your permit no i'm scared of driving well i'm not gonna be your uber guy <laughs> say go get your permit man. Uh, if you calculate the amount of money you're gonna spend on uber that's a whole car payment plus insurance mm -hmm. go get your license go get a car we solve the uber problem mm -hmm. i like solving problems gotcha. see when you enable people they'll always feel like you should always do something mm. I like a woman that can say, yo, you know, if we start a food truck, we can generate an extra 300000 for the year. It's $40,000 to start up, right? So in all, we'd probably be like fifty or 60000 in. But this can print anywhere from maybe ten to 20000 a month. Oh, I'm in. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Mm -hmm. So boom, here's this fifty. Go handle your business. And then within 12 months, I want this fifty back plus 10%. Hmm. People need to have skin in the game. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Like, have you ever given someone something and they just don't value it? They, they'll treat you, you can tell. Because they ain't work for it. They have no skin in the game. Mm -hmm. Dude, I've worked, so, dude, you know how many? 140 books in one year. I was not outside when everybody was working out, fraternizing, Doing all the things that they were doing. I was reading, bro. I've been through my gravitrophic moment. Mm. I've been through it. A whole year worth of it. Mm -hmm. Working on me. Working on my mind. I don't like entitled people. The worst thing someone can ever do is act entitled. And I made it very clear, even to my mom. I said, mom, you are not entitled to anything that I have. What you will get from me is support on anything that you want to do. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference. I will not enable anybody. If you need something, let's figure out something that can pay for it. Mm -hmm. I think that's fair. Because after fair. you get that thing, you still have the income stream from whatever we created. Mm -hmm. Let's go build a digital products. I, dude, I can teach you how to make, I can teach you how to make buku money. I am very good at what I do. Not just on credit, but on any business. I can scale any business. Hmm. Any business. I learn from the best. Mm -hmm. And the best is not the cheapest. Mm -hmm. This man is passionate about this shit. Come on, bro. I live what I do, bro. What's your, what's your goal? Like, uh, 33, what, what's, what's your, what do you plan on doing? What do you mean? I want to take over the world. All right, Pinky. Pinky in the brain? Yeah. Mm -hmm. With who? Your five women? Could be 10. But the goal is to create a family dynasty, to create a legacy. At what point do you stop? When I die. If you love what you do, you will never work a day in your life. Mm -hmm. I love what I do. Dude, I'm up to three o'clock in the morning reading laws and making jokes with myself. 
I seek my own counsel. <laughs> and when I learn some, see, that's the, that's the, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are not willing to admit to themselves. Dude, I talk to myself all the time. Tell me you don't seek your own counsel. Oh, I talk to myself all the time. I got 12 of them. And we, you know what we call board meetings? You ain't doing board meetings in the house. I live by myself. You ain't doing board meetings in the house by yourself. <laughs> I live by myself. I don't believe you're doing that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what can we create today? Okay. <clears throat> if we create this, we can do this. If we create this, we can do this. All right. Let me give you an example right now. Right now on this show, for everybody that is watching this show, what I'm about to tell them right now can change their life or their finances if they have bad credit. If you don't have bad credit, it's not for you. So if you have any negative item, derogatory, or any late, anything at all on your credit that you need off, right? It's very simple. I've put together a 30-day course, a 14-day course, three eBooks that anybody can use right now to get results within the next 24 to 48 hour. What? The courses themselves are $2,000. The eBooks are thing about collectively about 400. That's $2,400 worth of product for $47. All a person has to do is text the word credit to 917-993-5238. That's it. Mm -hmm. One simple thing. Text credit, right? C-R-E-D-I-T. Everybody knows how to spell credit mm -hmm. to 917-993-5238. And they're going to get the products. You can give a person all the information in the world, but information without execution is just like faith without works. Mm -hmm. It's dead. Mm -hmm. You can acquire all the knowledge in the world, but if you do not execute on the things you learn, it's pointless. People are looking for complicated things so they can pass on responsibility to somebody else. See, mm. it's easy for me to blame you if something don't work. Mm. It's hard to blame the man in the mirror knowing that you are the reason why you still have bad credit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When do we become responsible? I am responsible for all my flaws. Mm -hmm. If you accept your truth, no one can use your truth against you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so if I'm going on any date and I'm talking to anybody, I'm letting them know I want five kids. If you're not about that life, it's cool. We can be friends. We can even date. But if we're going to get serious, and I'm not just going to be with anybody. You need to have a characteristic trait that I want. If mm -hmm. you don't have it, I'm not wasting my time. Mm -hmm. I need a trait from you. You know, that's that's like a lost cause. You know, people don't think about, you know, the actual person that they're mating with, like the, the genes that you're going to combine with this child, oh how serious that is. No, seriously, because there's people, a whole yeah. madness behind this. You want me to tell you? Yes. All right. Back in the in, 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 in Jamaica, when I was at university, so I was going to school to become a doctor. Right. Um, I met this girl, Zandria beautiful girl she won miss jamaica too she was a model mm -hmm. but see and you had her huh you you had yeah her. Uh, come on bro hey. <laughs> I, i'm on the scale all right i'm above hey. a five all right <laughs> I, i'm above a five i'm not at a 10 yet i was, I was trying to make sure you weren't talking about your uh, brother your cousin i was nah, making sure it was you all right, right? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah and um zandria had lupus lupus is genetics it shows up in females. It will skip males. Mm -hmm. So you can be a carrier, but it will never show itself in a male. Mm -hmm. But if you have a daughter, it goes to the female. Mm -hmm. I, I never did too much in the research of it. But I realized then if you don't know your partner's genetic history, you can be at a disadvantage. So Zandria, like if anybody, like if I was to have anybody reincarnated, it would have been her. Mm -hmm. Like homegirl was on point. When I tell you that, that alpha that's going to hunt, that's her, mm -hmm. right? I got one now that hunts, but before her, before I met her, mm -hmm. Zandria, right? And I started thinking, are we really taking a deep, that like, when do you talk about credit on a date? When do you talk about 
people's habits, your finances. When do we talk about your genetics? Are you a carrier of something that can cause significant damage later on to a child we're going to produce? I don't think we had a conversation until like we later don't. on. We don't. And then it's too late because somebody's late. already knocked up. You done shot the club up. And then the kid has something mm. that was genetically passed. It skipped the girlfriend yeah. because it was latent. But then it showed up in the next generation. Mm -hmm. And now we have millions of dollars in medical expenses that could have been avoided if only we had the conversation. You know, people base who they choose their partner off, off of love, off of... It looks. You ever seen Love Write a Check? <clears throat> no. Okay. Maybe a love song. Could be. Mm. Or people that think they're in love write a check all the time, but then somebody's at a disadvantage. Mm -hmm. If we become more intentional, we can solve a lot more problems. Mm -hmm. Right? So what I'm saying is these conversations need to be had. Talk to me about your credit. It doesn't matter if somebody has bad credit. It doesn't matter because credit can be repaired, rebuilt, and restored. Mm -hmm. The question is, tell me about your mindset. Mm -hmm. See, like, let me lick your brain. I, like, let me lick your brain. Mm -hmm. if, I, if your brain is not appealing, I don't want you. <clears throat> if you're talking about sex, come on. People can buy that. You can even get robots now. <laughs> so if that's what you're bringing to the table, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but it's, that's nothing. It's mm -hmm. not. What's up here? They scared to have them conversations. And they that's when you know that's not someone you should be wasting your time with. Because mm -hmm. if, God forbid, something is to happen to me right now, can you step up and run the company? Mm. That's how I look at it. Or is everything going to crash? If I feel you're incompetent to run any of my businesses, you are not the one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Think about it. So waste of your time. Hmm. You're a smart fellow, man. You're, you're, Wouldn't you want a queen that compliments you in every way? Every way. If my if if we go into a room and every man's head don't turn, I don't want you. Man, that means every bro, every God. everybody's head needs to turn. Love that. And if their head don't turn, they know something I don't. <laughs> Something's wrong. Dude, like, look, I'll have my girl walk in front of me just to see her turn everybody's head. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, that, Any day of the week. Does something to your ego. Yeah. 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 That part. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know some shit. <laughs> if nobody <clears throat> wants her, I'm not interested, bro. I mean, <clears throat> they know something I don't. I, want, I don't want it. I want somebody that everybody wants, but nobody can have. Cannot have it. Don't touch. You can't and when you this. know it's mine, it's mine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's real. That part. Mm. <laughs> what else you got for the people, man? For we get <laughs> out of here, bro. I, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> all right. So let's, let me recap. Yeah. First thing is, all right, late payments are illegal, right? You don't even have to pay collections. 15 USC 1692 CC or 12 CFR 1006. Um, the Fair Debt Collection Practices Act, right? Everything on your consumer report must be accurate. 15 USC 1681. And the consumer reporting agencies, they have a responsibility to make sure that everything on your credit has maximum possible accuracy. 15 USC 1681 EB. So when we know that everything must be accurate, the law also says that a data furnisher, which is a creditor that furnishes information, mm -hmm. if they furnish information that they know is inaccurate or believe to be inaccurate, they are prohibited from doing it. 15 U.S.C. 1681 is 2. So when we know these things, we know that FICO is not a part of the consumer report. We know that late payments are illegal, utilizations as well, because factors of FICO are not factors of the consumer report. When you learn the key to credit, you can build out an 800 credit score however time you want. It's all about knowing. See, when Solomon spoke to God, what did Solomon ask for? Uh, did he ask for what? Wisdom. Wisdom. And understanding. Mm. He never asked for money. Mm -hmm. He never asked for long life. He said wisdom and understanding. The person that possesses the information 
that everybody needs. And that person package that information to solve other people's problems, you will be paid handsomely mm -hmm. or beautifully if you're a female, mm -hmm. right? So- It's not like Myra Golden. I learned from the best. Mm -hmm. So Proverbs eleven twenty six. This is biblical now. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't even know that selling is a biblical principle. See, the people curse him that hoarded the grain, but a blessing shall be on the head of the one who sells it. Mm -hmm. Sell what you got. The Bible didn't say give it away for free. Sell it so people can value it. The heart follows the pocketbook. Where thy treasure is, so does the heart lie. The heart pocket follows the pocketbook, right? Hosea 4, 6, my people are destroyed from a lack of information. That's all that's missing. That's all people are missing. Information. Yeah. But sometimes yeah. when you give it to them, they don't even execute. That is why faith without works is dead. And every aspect of your life where there is not reciprocity, meaning what do you give to mm -hmm. receive what you want, mm -hmm. you will die. People want something for nothing. The universe does not work that way. There must be a balance. The scales must be. What happens if you just pour into someone, but that person never pours into you? And this is where we find ourselves with partners that are not compatible to our success. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we pour so much into a person and they pour nothing back. Leaving you drained. Ambulances, bro. They just want stuff. Ambulance. You ever heard of ambulance? Woo, 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 woo. Ambulances. Crying and whining? Yeah. Okay. Right. I was they trying to always out want something. Yeah. But never. Get, give how about you just give something first so karma and reciprocity can take care of you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I believe that. Words are so powerful. The tongue is in the beginning was the word. The mm -hmm. word was with God and the word became flesh. Mm -hmm. The things we speak into our lives, they matter. What do you feed the garden of your mind? What do you feed your soul? Mm -hmm. What does a tree need to be to bear apple? Mm, apple seeds. Need to be an apple tree, right? Mm-hmm. Because you're not going to see corn growing on an apple tree. Mm -mm. So what is inside of here, planted in the right environment, will come to fruition. But a lot of people are not planted in the right environment. And if you are not planted in an environment conducive to your growth, you will die. <laughs> Listen, that right there. I love that. You know, it's going to go viral. See again? It's going to go viral. Well, I would like so. No, no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <nah. laughs> you know what I mean? No, and I'm about to do this. <laughs> Think um, about it. Man, I appreciate you coming. Um, this was some game. Major game. Um, I don't know how I can implement this consumer law into what I got going on, but um, I'm definitely. Well, it depends it on what you got going on. First, you have to speak what you have going on. Mm -hmm. Then we can talk about the implementation. Gotcha. But if it's the best kept secret, you will never know. Mm -hmm. Rich and Unemployed <laughs> Podcast. Uh, until next time, man. Um, that's it.